and I will get your perspective on what we saw week one after what was an extraordinary offseason for him and then an extraordinary performance. Where is his head right now? I concur with Stephen A. Smith, although I cannot deliver it like that. I think Aaron Rodgers is a very <laughs> bad man. I think he always has been, to be honest with you. And I think this year has kind of be, been a reinvigoration of Aaron Rodgers. I think draft night when they draft Jordan Love in the first round, they trade up to do that. Then they get a running back in the second round. And then you have the no offseason. And Aaron said that his arm has felt better this training camp than it has in the last 10 years. And you take into account that all the other old quarterbacks around the league, Tom Brady has a new home. Phillip Rivers has a new home. Peyton Manning had a new home. It's much more normalized. I think Aaron Rodgers has figured out that he's probably not going to end his career with the Green Bay Packers. He's probably being told that he's near the end of his career. He said last year that he can see hole 18. It's on the horizon. And I think he's just trying to enjoy the hell out of the entire process. I think he's trying to showcase maybe to Gunther Kuntz, the GM that made the terrible decisions on draft night, that he's still got a lot of zip left in the arm. I mean, he made like a 35-yard roll out off a one foot dime to Devontae Adams in the corner of the end zone. I think we're about to see the greatest year from Aaron Rodgers we have seen in a long, long time. And I think he feels like that revenge body almost after you get either broken up with or kind of slighted by somebody, you come back better than ever. That's the Aaron Rodgers we're seeing right now. And I'm here for it because he is a bad, <laughs> bad man. I'm with you. I, I've been calling it the scorched earth tour. <laughs> Diana, what is your perspective? Yeah, Pat, I'm all about the revenge body, so I'm all in on that as well. When you talk about that, right, we've all been slighted before. It's like the best motivator. It makes you get up earlier, eat better, and makes you really want to take down the world when people are doubting. And, and Pat, I feel like you're really trying to say what we're all thinking, which is Aaron Rodgers is so petty in the best way possible. Oh. So this is just working to the advantage of the Green Bay Packers. He lives for this. This is a guy who records every interview he does to make sure that he's never misquoted. And the positive effect of all this is Aaron Rodgers is going back to his 2015 season, taking a look at, looks at some of the best highlights, the clips of when he was great, to remind himself just in case there's any doubt. And I covered the Packers game against the Vikings last Sunday in Greeny. Everyone on this team was telling me before that game that A-Rod is spunky, he's happy, just words I don't ever really use when I'm describing that quarterback, or at least I've heard. And then watching him in warm-up, I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Aaron Rodgers out there loving life. He looked like a rookie in terms of just having fun in the moment. And, and we say have fun, and sometimes it sounds like fluff, but I think in this situation it's important because he's going out there going, I'm here to prove I know I probably won't finish here in Green Bay, but I'm going to show you that's going to be your biggest regret. RC, what did you see? Uh, Dan Orlovsky said it was the best he's seen <clears throat> Rodgers look in years. I, it looked that way to me, too. The Vikings are a team I know you think very highly of, and he carved them up. What do you think? No, I mean, Aaron Rodgers was Aaron Rodgers we had gotten used to years ago. And he said in the offseason that he went back and watched some film from 2010 when he was great, as Diana mentioned, and that those things were some things that he wanted to get back to. He made every throw that he needed to make, and he also made some throws that no one else in the NFL can make. Some of those things that made us say he was the best quarterback we'd ever seen with our eyes, and he was the best I'd ever played against. You hear Pat mention his 35-yard dime to Devontae Adams on the move. It was something special, special. The Valdez-Scantlin touchdown down the right sideline late in the second quarter was something that we needed to see from Aaron Rodgers. And so I'm very excited for this season. Greeny, you've been calling it a scorched earth, earth tour for a while, but we thought it was because the rest of the league doubted him. Now he's being doubted in his house. He's being told that you aren't the guy of the future, even though you've been our past and now out present and so he's trying to show not only the Green Bay Packers but everybody else in the league that he could still play that he still has a lot left and he's going to show you each and every week why he was once considered the best quarterback in football. McAfee final word. Well I just think uh, to quote the great poet Kendrick Perkins I think the Detroit Lions this weekend are dead birds in tall grass <laughs> carry on he might throw for 700 yards this weekend, and I think that is only just getting started. He feels good. I think mentally he feels good. Physically he feels good. And it just, there's this resurgence feel from Aaron Rodgers. He's dropping dimes and suck it signs in practice. I mean, the world is in trouble with this Aaron Rodgers I think we're about to see. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.